When I first started this project, my goal was to be, become a niche OEM and to build you know, 5, 10, 20 of these vehicles a year. Since then, the industry has completely changed. All kind of venture capitals come into the industry. Um, but our, our, our other goal was to build the most fuel efficient Class 8 vehicle in the world. This past three years, myself and my crew have been working on it six days a week. It took 18,000 build hours to get the thing together. The components powered of this vehicle are conventional diesel powered components. We have a Cummins 2017 X15 efficiency engine, only rated at 400 horsepower, but it's got 1,850 foot-pounds of torque. So we're able to run extremely low RPMs with that engine and get astronomical fuel mileage with it. For the transmission, we have an 18-speed AMT, automated manual transmission, and we have a six by two differential with a 2.5 to one gear ratio. We've got wide base tires on four axles, of course, and any other little efficiency we can do to, to, to save fuel, we do it. The rolling chassis is like any other diesel truck out there. What we've done, we've tried to maximize that efficiency in the truck itself by using uh, hyper aerodynamics. The entire cab, the hood, the bumper, the side skirts on the tractor are all built of carbon fiber. Uh, we're able to get a super aerodynamic shape on the entire vehicle. And when you're not wasting all that fuel, just pushing into the wind, it really makes a big difference. We were able to do some what's called computation of fluid dynamics, which is analogous to a software wind tunnel. And when we do that, when we did that, we were able to find um, little issues and problems and tweak those in the simulations till we finally got what we feel is the optimum aerodynamic envelope. And the CD of this vehicle, the coefficient of the drag, is 0 0.25, which is equal to well below most modern cars. Michelle's metric on the cross-country test, which is going to happen in May, is freight ton efficiency. So we want to know how much freight how many tons of freight we can move on a single gallon of diesel fuel. It's, not, it's a more fair and reasonable metric than say miles per gallon, because you could get 10 miles per gallon hauling 80,000 pounds gross vehicle weight, or you could get 10 miles per gallon hauling 40,000 pounds gross vehicle weight. So really to measure how much freight, hypothetical freight, or in this case real freight, we'll be hauling real freight from San Diego to Jacksonville, Florida on that record run. And we're documenting with third parties exactly how much fuel the truck will save on that run.